guys, Patrick from Iron Rock Off-Road here. Today I'm going to be showing you a new product that we're releasing. It's going to be the JK Rear Coil Spring Correction Spacers. Uh, right here in front of me, we can see we've got two spacers. We're also going to be including uh, retaining hardware, which is going to be made up of two large washers, two flag nuts, and then our bolts and washers. And that's going to help keep that lower spring in place once we're all said and done. Uh, today we're going to be uh, installing it on the Jeep behind me. Uh, it's a 2008 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. All right, now you're probably wondering why we need these correction spacers. Well, what we're trying to do is uh, correct a condition that's very common in the JK rear springs uh, when we lift it. It's called spring bow. Now, a spring bow is when the coil spring is no longer in a straight, natural state when it's installed. Rather, it's got a curve or a bow to it. If you follow me on down here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, if you can see in here, the spring as you get to the midsection or even lower, it's got a bit of a bow to it. And what we're attributing that to is the spring perch. If you take a look at that, that mounting surface for the spring is not flat. And now this occurs because when we install these lift springs and we take this axle further away from the frame, we also cause it to rotate a little bit. And that's what causes that mounting surface to no longer be flat and cause this spring bow. And what we're worried about when this happens is losing lift height. All right, now the severity of this condition can vary from application to application. Uh, things like how much lift height you have can make a difference. Uh, how much weight you might be carrying in accessories or cargo. And also whether or not we're uh, using adjustable control arms, which can help. But we typically see a little bit of a sacrifice and pinion angle when trying to correct this with adjustable control arms. All right, now we're going to start on disassembly so we can work towards installing these spacers. But before I start taking things loose, hop back in here and take a look at this spring pad now that the axle is at full droop on the hoist. You can see that it is very angled. All right, now installation is pretty simple on this one. I'm going to start by taking the sway bar in link loose and also the shock so I can let that axle droop a little bit more. All right, now you can see we've got our sway bar link disconnected, our shock disconnected, our axle is going to be pretty relaxed under here. I know depending on your springs, it might have just easily come loose, all the room in the world. Um, unfortunately for me, I've got a little bit more tension left on my spring. So a little primar action, I should be able to slip this spacer in without too much issue. Goes right in there underneath the spring. And you're going to notice we've got two locating tabs on both sides of the spacer that's going to keep this nice and centered on the mounting surface for that spring. I'm just going to let it sit back down. And that's in. Next is the retainer. All right, next is the retainer hardware. Uh, we're going to start by slipping in this uh, flag nut here. Now, this is, can be a little bit of a tight fit in here, and depending on the age and condition of your vehicle, you might have a little bit of rust buildup under there. But if you just wiggle it, manipulate it a little bit, it should pop right in there. Next, we're going to slip our washer on top of that bottom coil. And then bolt and washer through that. All right, got her in the hole there. And now I'm going to thread it into my nut plate and tighten it when complete. All right, guys, we got the installation all finished up. Uh, so if you want to come on in here and you can see what the spring spacer has actually been able to accomplish here as far as correcting that bow. If you concentrate where we looked earlier towards the bottom of that uh, spring right, right, right at the mounting surface, you can see it's coming off a lot straighter. So now with that spring in a, a much straighter state, we've been able to restore the lift height that we lost originally. All right, guys, that includes this installation video. Uh, make sure you're checking out our other videos on YouTube. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram. And make sure you check out all of our products at ironrockoffroad.com.